so two major unions have asked finance minister Ken Oferata to explain how to pay off those laid off from the banking sector cleanup. Now, the general secretaries of the Ghana Mine Workers Union and the Industrial and Commercial Workers Union were reacting to budget statement uh, here in Accra. The General Secretary of the Ghana Mine Workers Union, Prince William Ankra, ICU General Secretary Solomon Kote, expected the Finance Minister to explain how to deal with the job losses following the financial sector cleanup. The issues of job loss were actually mitigated to a, to a large extent. I mean, in as much as I would have wished that they are sign, sign on almost uh, everybody who lost the job, it's really not possible to a large extent. Yeah, I'm sure next time around, maybe we can really do it better. But for me, the bravery to do what has been done for me is great. It's not only one-sided that because you are a client and you have credit. How about those who are borrowed from these institutions and they haven't paid? What strategy is there for us to know that those monies are going for? Because this money is talking about, is your money, my money. It is the taxpayers' money they are using. So what does it mean that those who have gone to borrow there and nobody can chase them, they've gone away free with it? We need more answers, and I believe in the coming weeks these things will come up. The mine worker secretary, Prince William Ankara, wants corporates to be prosecuted immediately. Had their resources from savings, from pensioners, other who are struggling to make sure they could save for better times, you know, suddenly have gone to a ditch. I mean, and you need government to get into all those payments, you know, and I'm, I'm sure that to a large extent, if you look at the fact that it's been calm, it's a classic that the government has done its bits. They raised issues with regard to the poor state of roads across the country and wondered why they hold up to the first quarter of next year to get rehabilitated. Kumasi Obwasi is another disaster. Obwasi Dunkwa is another disaster. Dunkwa Anyamfwe is another disaster. And, and these are mining townships. Excuse me, I mean, let's face it. There's no way in the world that, I mean, environment or township that produces bulk of the nation's world in terms of hard cash should have that major deficit. You recall that 2016, at midnight, roads were being commissioned, roads were being, you know, uh, constructed with floor lights day and night, okay? So this one, ICU was wishing to see a particular roadmap. Which areas are going to receive this attention? Is it going to go, you know, in a very uniform manner or is it going to go in a particular skewed interest where uh, election period is and where one's interest actually is? The ICU said government should indicate where factories built under 1-1 factory are located. If indeed it is, it's been done, when we get to the detail of this budget, okay, then we'll be able to identify, locate, and then possibly take visits and go there and go and see for ourselves that yes, these factories have been completed.